So this year at AGU, I will be talking about some experiments we've done in our lab to understand the formation and evolution of the continental crust. And one of the ways we do that is to simulate rocks uh, at deep crustal conditions. So for example, I have here um, an eclogite from Western North Carolina. Um, and you can see the red minerals are garnets and the green minerals are pyroxenes. Um, but you can also see on this rock that there's a significant amount of black material here, which is um, material that's been altered as the rock made its way from the deep crust to the surface. Um, and so, of course, this alteration um, makes it difficult to understand these rocks at the deepest parts of the crust. So what we do is use a machine like this piston cylinder um, to create the rocks in the lab. Um, so, for example, um, these are experimental charges uh, that we created synthetically in the piston cylinder experiment uh, using a piston cylinder like this. And so, remember the garnets and clinopyroxenes, garnets and clinopyroxenes from this rock, we can actually recreate those in an experiment. Uh, so what I have here are garnets and clinopyroxenes made in a synthetic rock at conditions like those occurring in the deep crust. And so what we can do then is look at the chemistry of those minerals and try to understand how the continental crust evolved. And I'll be talking in a poster presentation at AGU this year, I believe on Monday afternoon, and looking forward to it.